Hey everybody, I wanted to show you our brand new projector. This is our theater. We've had this for probably six or seven years and we finally upgraded our projector. We had an old, what was it, a 2006 Sharp XR10X. It was good for its day. We used it way beyond its usefulness. Uh, but this is a new Epson 3800 Home Cinema and we love it. I've not just put it up yesterday. Uh, we've had it in use for about a month and really, I really uh, enjoy the capability of it. So let's talk a little bit about it and I'll do a walk around of it, show you some of the neat things on it. I'll actually plug it in and uh, show you how bright it is. First off, this is not a giveaway item. This is gonna cost you around $1,400 and that's as of August, 2021. So it's an investment. Um, it's not one of those that has a short throw capability that you can put about a foot against the wall and it will uh, Go ahead and fill the whole screen. I think the minimum for this is two meters So that means you have to have it about six feet away. Not a big deal for us. We've got about 15 feet for our with that, Before our screen We have I think this is a 120 inch screen. So that's diagonal of course More about the projector. That's why we're here this is 3,000 lumens. Our old projector was 2,000, so this is 50% brighter, and it really shows up well, and the contrast is 100,000 to one, so that is fantastic. Maximum resolution on this, or the native resolution, is 3840 by 2160, so essentially 4K, and it's not true 4K. They do LED tricks on it, so, um, uh, you know, we're not spending 4,000 for a projector. We're spending $1,400. Um, but it is incredible, and it's not a tiny thing. I think it weighs six pounds, so you're going to have to get yourself a mount. This mount up here is a universal. I had to modify it slightly because it's such a big projector, I couldn't get all four legs on there. Uh, the projector mount is about $20, and it can hold up to 30 pounds. The back for connections, you can see a couple HDMI ports. What is that? I can't re quite read it here. Uh, your standard ports, even a couple of USBs. Um, only thing I have in here is a Amazon Fire, which lets us stream anything. Well, let's see. What else can I tell you about really quick before we try it? Oh, the remote control. Here's the remote, and this is something simple, but it's really nifty. You're in a dark theater, right? So here we go. Press the button, and everything's lit up. So with that, let's turn off the lights and I'll turn this thing on, on. Got a light right away. All right, maybe 15 seconds to go up to full brightness, but there's what we're sitting with. And that's pretty much, the resolution's incredible. That's my shadow there. Getting up real close. This is right next to the screen. Really sharp. I'm gonna go to YouTube and uh, we have not hooked up a sound system yet, which is another thing I should talk about. This has stereo speakers built in the back, and you can hear them right now. But sitting here, it's no big deal. It sounds pretty good, but we can hook up a Bluetooth surround sound system to it. And here's my ad. This is the trailer or teaser for our channel, Dan Link there. Most of it filmed in 1080, but some 4K. Okay, so about the projector. Quantum leaps above what I'm used to. Let me hit pause. Super bright, incredible contrast, built-in speakers, all the features you'd expect, uh, LED technology, super happy with it. You know, it helps to go 15 years between upgrading projectors, but uh, this is a, a good one anyway. Uh, we have a dedicated room for this, obviously, a dark room that I like, but this has such brightness and contrast that you could actually use it in an ambient lit room. And a lot of people do that. So don't let that scare, to, scare you away if you don't have a theater for it. 
Uh, but I recommend this. We've used it for a month now. We've watched a lot more down here than we've had in the last five years, just because the old one was not very good. And it's nice to stream everything. So that's it. This is my Epson Home Cinema 3800. Uh, it's a review. Uh, we're all for it. Nothing really bad besides the size, but it's not a factor because it's on the ceiling. Um, I'll stick a link if you want to learn more about this. I'll stick a link down in the description. Or if you want to go to Amazon or some other place, that link will take you there if you want to purchase one. That's it. Happy movie time, everybody. Thanks for watching.